Hey, Kevin here, top 100 financial advisor, two-time author, one-time bestseller, and this has been a hot topic that you guys have been asking for on Instagram and Facebook. So I want to cover options, but we are going to break this down into probably a series. Um, I don't know how long the series will be, but this will likely have to take like two, maybe three videos, probably at minimum, because options can get real deep real quick. And uh, I don't want to sit here and, and lecture you guys on options and things for an entire hour and a half. So what we're going to do is break it up. But first, let's discuss the super basics of options. And then we'll, you know, we'll draw things out, we'll talk about it. And then we'll come back and kind of build on it as the, the days pass. All right. So first, um, you got two types of options, two types of options, you have call options, and you have put options, and you see the arrows there. And we'll get to that in just a second. Options are what I like to call insurance. So if you think a stock is going to do a certain thing, you need insurance or some people want insurance to benefit from however that particular stock moves. Call options are for when you think a stock is going to go up and put options are for when you think a stock is going to go down. You got calls, you got puts, that's all you need to know as in terms of like what options are and kind of what they do. Um, when it comes to call options, we need to kind of break that down. We'll actually break down both. So a call option gives you the right. If you buy one, you have the right to buy at a, it's at a certain price. I just don't want to spell everything out at a price. So I'm going to say, look, I have insurance. I get to buy it here. And when the stock is way up there, I get to buy it for cheap and sell for, you know, really high. Put options are on the opposite end where you get to sell a stock at a price. So depending on what stock I, I'm looking at and what I think that stock is going to do, then I get to buy insurance and benefit from wherever that stock goes. Now it does cost me to buy this insurance just like it would for your car, or your home or anything else. And the other thing that you need to know is that options equal 100 shares so kind of in blocks so just like i can't say look i just want insurance on the front half of my car i really don't care about the, the back half you can't really do that good night baby i love you <laughs> um so i i can't just get partial insurance i can't say hey can you please insure the one share of apple that i have the one share of tesla that i have because i'm really worried about it no you can't do that. You need to, when you buy insurance uh, or when you buy options, it's always in 100 blocks. So for example, if an option for Apple is, you can look on like TD, Ameritrade or, or anywhere else. If the option says that it's a dollar and 80 cents, it's really $180 because you're multiplying it by 100. It is $180. The insurance is $180 per share and you have to have a hundred. So that's how it works. So when you're dealing with options, any price that you see, you multiply it by a hundred. That's how that works. All right. Now, so let's kind of get into some illustrations of what this could mean in, in different examples. So we're going to go with Tesla. The reason I'm picking Tesla is because it's been a popular topic that we've been on for the last few days, but it's also a stock that's highly volatile. We've seen that this year where we start off the year at 900, it fell all the way down to like 400 and now it's at like 1500, 1600. Now they're doing a, a stock split and all types of crazy things are going to happen. So people will likely want to get insurance on Tesla. Now, should you get options? How much options should play into your investing strategy? That's for a later part of the video because there's a lot more that you need to understand before you just start jumping out there and doing stuff like this. But I do want to explain the basics. They are, they're okay. So I'm not going to say they're overly good because you can get burned um, and you keep doing it too often. Just like if you buy insurance on every single item in your house, that's going to cost you money because options are not free. Um, so you do have to pay attention to cost and other things like that. But let's get to our example. So Tesla, T-S-L-A. And let's say I'm going to make it super simple. So I'm going to make Tesla $100 a share just for this example.
right? So Tesla's $100 a share. I think that Tesla is going to go to $1,000 a share. And right now it's at 100. So what am I going to do? Guess what? If I think that and I know that, I'm going to buy insurance that says I get to buy at this price. So I'm going to get me look, get me some insurance here. I'm going to get a call. And let's say the call option is Tesla at $100. Now this call option does expire just like your regular insurance. You got to keep it up, buy new insurance, renew it, however you want to call it. You have to renew it. So if I don't use this insurance, it is going to expire. So in this example, let's just say it expires in October. I'm just going to put that here, right? Um, and make that cleaner. Okay, so the, the, this basically, Tesla needs to be above $100 before it expires. And let's just say it costs me $5. And all this is, boom, $5. It's so all it costs me. The insurance just cost me $5. Now, I don't, you know, I don't have anything else. I just got the insurance now. So if Tesla goes up, uh, let's just say Tesla is at $100 right now. I'm not sure why that's not a straight line. It should be. And let's say it goes all the way up to nine. Let's just make it up an even $1,000. That's a lot of money, right? So if the stock is at $1,000 a share, well, I'd, I may not be able to afford it at $1,000 a share. I'd what, what good is that going to do me, right? Um, but I have insurance to say that I get to buy 100 shares of Tesla at $100. Now, if you're quick with it, you already know well, if you can buy it for 100 and sell it for 1,000, two things can happen. Number one, the first thing is if you have the money to buy 100 shares of Tesla, it's going to cost you $10,000. If you can do that, you can buy it at 100 and make some really quick money, really quick money, right? Or option number two is the $5 that you paid or really 500, because remember it times 100 shares, the, the money that you pay for the insurance, your insurance now is worth a whole lot more money because the stock is down $1,000. So you can either A, buy 100 shares of Tesla at, a, at $100 a share and sell that, or you can sell the insurance because people really want that same benefit that you have. And that's essentially how option trading works. That's, that is it. That is the, that's it. <laughs> so that's, you want to like, well, what do they do and why do they do it? And all that kind of stuff. We'll go, we're going to break it down some more, but that's essentially it. You get the option, you get the choice, the right to buy it at a certain price for a call option, only a call option. And if the stock moves up, your contract, your insurance becomes more valuable. I can make money from the insurance and just say, look, I don't have enough money, nor do I want to go buy Tesla here. I'm going to say, I'm going to sell you this insurance now. You can go do what you want with it because now my insurance is worth more. That's how it works. Now, let's see what happens on the opposite end where you are selling or you're buying rather a put option. And let's say it's still Tesla. Now, you know, you guys know how I am on Tesla, very good, very bad at times. It's, it's kind of up in the air. Let's say Elon Musk says something stupid, and you know he is going to say something stupid. You say, okay, look, I like Tesla, but if it goes down, I am buying insurance to sell this stock at $100. So if something happens and the stock goes down, and let's say the stock is down to 50 you don't want to lose that $50. So what you can say is, look, the stock is down 50. I already have 100 shares of Tesla. Guess what? You now have to pay me because that you had that contract with somebody else. Somebody sold you that contract, right? So you get to say, look, the, the stock is down to 50. You got to come up off that, that money. <laughs> so I'm selling to you for 100, even though I know it is, is worth even less. So you get to protect yourself from the downside. Stock falls down. Cool. You're right you get to sell your stock at 100. So you're making money in that situation. And on the opposite side, if you bought a put contract, you bought put insurance, you can also say, look, 
I own the right to sell this at 100. You know that the stock is is falling. You know that you could lose half your money right now. You can I can sell my contract now. And now by put option, my contract is worth a whole lot more. That's it. That is that is part one of options. Now in part two, I think what we're going to discuss is why the pricing is different because again here it's it's five dollars uh for every one um share but remember you have to get about 100 shares so what you really did in this case is you you spent five hundred dollars but when the when stocks move like people can make you know 50 60 percent or even 20 percent when the stock only moves by this much so we're going to discuss that part of it but i wanted to break it down this is the basics we we're going to make this you know, into a two, maybe three part series, because there are a bunch of questions and things that are going to come after this. So please do ask questions. One, because I want to be a better educator for you. I want to make sure that I'm teaching, you know, I, you guys know I used to be a teacher, <laughs> but I want to make sure that I am teaching in a way that makes sense and that was clear and I didn't talk too fast or run it all over your head. Uh, so I want to make sure that I did that. So that's number one. Uh, and number two, I want to make sure that we're videos number two and maybe number three actually makes sense too. So feel free to let me know that. You're not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> Just tell me what you think and what you want to see in the other videos. So let me know in the comments. Make sure you share the video and we will be back. Make sure you click the link above and again share and then we're going to continue our options conversation and show you, I'm going to show you how millionaires start to use these options too. Um, it is not the biggest part of the of millionaire's portfolio from my experience having managed that money, um, but it is an important part and I have seen a few, a niche, niche few that tend to do very well with options. So we're going to discuss that. All right. That is it for me today. I will see y'all tomorrow. Again, share, comment, do all of those great things and I will see y'all tomorrow.